Hello and welcome to the next section where we'll be studying uh, about nested ifs. Uh, it means if within a if, like we'll be using many ifs uh, into a single function because we'll have a different criteria. In the previous lecture, we had only one criteria, like if the age is greater than is equals to 18, he or she is an eligible voter. But now we'll be having multiple criteria, which is the reason why we'll be using if multiple times. Okay, so I'll just share my screen and we'll show the example. This is this is the example sheet, okay, and this is my criteria. If you can uh, just uh, just see the criteria, like if a student scores um, between 80 to 90, sorry, between 80 to 90, his grade uh, is A, okay, 60 to 80 grade is B, 40 to 60 grade is C, and 0 to 10 it's F, means fail, okay. Um, so what what I'll do, I'll type in if again. Remember, remember very important point. Uh, remember very important point. Like we'll be first doing the logical test. Like if this is greater or is equals to or less than or is equals to this is done. After the first comma, we type in what that if will return to me if the value is true. And after the second comma, if this is not true, it goes to the second one. So um, I'll, I'll just make sure that you understand this point by this example. If this is greater than is equals to 80, return me, return me grade is A. If this is false, if this is not greater than is equals to 80, then what, what it should return? B? But that's not, that's, that's not the case. What, what if uh, it, is, it is between 40 to 60? Then it needs to bring C, right? We'll again use another B. So if this condition is satisfied, we will get the result A, right? If this is not satisfied, it will go to this if, and we'll check this one more time. If this is greater than is equals to 60, then if this is true, this will return as B. And now what in what in case this is not true, I'll apply another if. Again, if this is greater than is equals to 40, this shall return me C. What if this is not true? Another if. If this B2 is greater than is equals to 20, greater than is equals to greater than is equals to 20, this shall return me D, right? Okay. What if this is not true? Let's use another if. If this, sorry, if this greater than is equals to 10, this shall return me, this shall return me E. And what if this is not true? So if it is not greater than is equals to 80, not greater than is equals to 60, not greater than is equals to 40, not even greater than is equals to 20 or 10, then this shall return me F. So I'll type in the else one over here. Now when I, crow, when I close the parenthesis, this is very important that you remember the, the number of parenthesis you close is equals to the number of parentheses you have opened. One, so this is closed. You'll just see a highlight mark. So this, this shall give you an idea of which is getting closed. Another highlight over here. Two is closed. Three is closed. Four, five. All the ifs closed. Press enter. We have got eight. Very simple. Drag and drop. Now you can change and check if it is zero. Oops. F, great. My formula is working. If it is 56, this is C. If it is 55, this is C one more time. If this is 4, 40, C. If this is 39, D. And what if it is 39.5? 39.5, it is D. Because it is less than 40. So this is how if within an if works. Again, let, let me just revise this a bit. This is the formula. Let's get on to 
zero and then try and understand. Say, for example, this is nine, right? The the uh, the the score is nine. Now let's understand the formula. If B twelve means this one where I have written nine, right? Is greater than is equals to eighty? No, this is not true. So A won't be printed. This will go come over here. B two greater than sixty? No, this is not true again. Then again, this will come to this this if forty? No, again here? No, again here? No, and then it types in F. So this is how if checks the criteria. This is how the logical test is done. This is this is what logical function is. So here we have learned how we can nest if within a if. In the coming lectures, we will learn how we can nest other functions like say for example and function or function main maximum we can we can merge these functions with if as well which we will be learning in the next section okay till then practice this nested if and if and then only move on to the next lecture okay keep learning and and remember that this nested if will be used all over your career wherever you will be preparing or generating reports okay so happy learning and let's move on to the next lecture thank you